it's Rose. So today I'm going to be unboxing a 13 inch MacBook Pro 2020 edition. So I got this as an early birthday present and the reason why it's early is because I did it on Final Cut Pro and that is a software that's only for Apple computers and I don't have an Apple computer, I use a PC. So I've been using my dad's MacBook Air to edit and Final Cut Pro is like a big software and it's really hard to run on the MacBook Air. So it was very slow and hard to use and also it would get a little annoying for my dad because he would want the computer but I would be using it to edit my videos and then when I would need to edit my videos he would be using the computer. So it would just be best if I got another computer. So I'm going to be unboxing it and I'm really excited. Okay, anyways, let's get into the unboxing. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, that was satisfying. Except I didn't tear it properly. I it ripped in the middle. Ugh, I already ruined this unboxing. <laughs> well, that was very uneventful. Oh my god, it's in there. Okay, so there's obviously the basics. Comes with a charging thing, the manual reading stuff. I'm not gonna read that. And the apple stickers. And then we got this little brick block. I forgot what this is called. Adapter. Let's get to the good part. I got it in the color silver, by the way. Well, that was very uneventful. There's a cover thing. Selector language. English is the main language. Press the return key. That scared me. So I'm gonna finish setting up my MacBook and customizing it, and then I'll be back with some customization tips so that you guys can make your MacBooks a little more personalized. Okay, so I'm back. I had to switch to my vlog camera because my other camera ran out of battery. So sorry if the audio sounds a little different. So first we're gonna start out with the little tiny adjustments that make a big difference, but they seem like a small little thing, but they actually make a big difference overall. First, let's start with accent colors. So you're going to go to the top left corner of your Mac and you're going to click on the Apple logo thing. Then you'll go to system preferences and then click on general and then there'll be accent colors. So I set mine to yellow because it went with my background, but you can also choose the default blue purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, and graphite. Basically what this accent color does is it changes the color of everything. Like as you can see, this is now yellow. And when you click on things, like for example, I'll click on edit, it'll make it appear yellow. Another simple thing you can do to keep your MacBook organized is to clear out your dock. So by this I mean you just remove the applications that are in your dock that you don't need. So it's like just keep the ones that you think you'll be using the most that you'll need to access more easily. For example, I don't need mail, so I will right click it, then go to options, and then press remove from dock. And you can just keep doing this with a bunch of the things that you don't think you'll be needing and you can just clear those out so that your dock will be a lot smaller and less cluttered. Okay, so now I've cleared up my dock. So each of these applications are now a little too big for my preference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Apple logo in the top left corner, go to system preferences, and then I will click on dock. And then I can make the size slightly smaller. Now I'm going to show you how to get these little sticky notes. So what you have to do is you have to go to your launch pad and then for me, I have it in other and then you'll see stickies. And then once you click on that, you can go to file, new note, and then you can write whatever you want. And then you can select a font. So you just have to highlight your text, go to your font that you want. 
I'll just choose American Typewriter. And then you can also pick the size that you want it to be. And then you can also change the color, make it pink or purple or yellow, blue, green, gray, whatever color you want. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get this cute little calendar. And it doesn't have to be a calendar, you can also add just a cute little image or whatever you want. But I chose to do a calendar, so what you have to do is go to Safari or Google or whatever search engine you use, and then you can search up calendar. So for example, it's June 2020, so I'll search up June 2020 calendar. I spelled calendar wrong, whatever. And then you'll go to images, and then once you find one you like, you can just save that. The way I save it is I just click and drag it onto my desktop. Then you can go back to the stickies, and you can click on file, new note, and then if you just click and drag it onto the sticky note, then it's going to be way too big and enlarged. So what you need to do instead is you can click on the image, zoom in or out until you get it to a size that you would want it to be when it's on your desktop. Let's say I want it at this size, then I will have it there and I'll do command shift four and then I can screenshot the image to make it the size that I like. And then once I have the screenshot, I can click and drag that screenshot over to the sticky note. And then there you go. You just have a cute little calendar or whatever image you want to put there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to change what the file icon looks like. And by this I mean so you see here how I have this pics for background file thing and it doesn't just show some folder, it shows a daisy. So let me show you how I did that. So let's make a new folder just as an example and I'm going to go on to Safari again and I'm going to search for whatever image I want to replace that folder icon with. So I did a daisy, so let's do a sunflower. If you don't want the background to be around that icon, then you have to search PNG after the name of whatever you want your icon to be. So since I want a sunflower, I'll search sunflower PNG. And then I go to images and find a cute one that I like. And when you click on it, make sure that the background is removed. So what I mean by that is when I click on this image, for example, you can see that the background doesn't disappear. So you need to make sure that the image you're selecting has the background disappearing. So like this one, for example, the background disappears. So let me just find one. So now I'm going to save this image by clicking and dragging to my desktop. Then you can right click on the folder or file or whatever that you want to change the icon of. You right click it and then you go to get info and then you can click and drag your image over to this folder thing. But for me, for some reason, that doesn't work. For some people it does, for some people it doesn't. But for me, personally, it always shows up like this. So to fix this, what you can do is you can open up your image and then you can click and drag over the whole entire image. Press Command C to copy it. And then you can go back to this get info thing of the folder or file and then you can click on this little icon again and do command v and there you go now you have a cute little file icon so that it looks a little more personalized and nicer than just a plain old folder next i'll show you how to get this digital flipping clock thing as your screensaver you have to go to this website and i will link it in the description for you guys and on this site you have to be very careful because there are a few ads that say download here or something like that and they're make, gonna make you download something else that is not what you want to download so just be very careful so make sure that when you're on the site you just scroll straight down and you only press download on this little area. So since I'm on a Mac, I will click on this download button and it's free and then I will download it. So then you can just open it up in your downloads and click on it and then it'll load something and then once it loads, you'll have this. And then you can double click on this flick low saver thing 
and then you can press install for this user only or install for all users of this computer depending on which one you want to do and then you can click install and then you can go to the apple icon again go to system preferences and then click on desktop and screen saver and then you can scroll till you see the Flicklow digital clock and then there you go you have this cute little digital clock Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is Hot Corners. So it's just a simple little trick you can do on your computer. What Hot Corners is, is that when you move your mouse into a certain corner of a screen, it'll have something pop up, depending on what you want to pop up. So, for my screen, if I go into the top right corner and leave it there, it'll switch to my screensaver. And then when I move it away, it'll remove my screensaver. So, what you want to do to set this is you can go to the Apple icon in the top left corner, click on that, and then click on System Preferences, and then I go to Desktop and Screensaver, and then down here you'll see Hot Corners, and you click on that, and then it'll show all four corners that you can add things to. In the top right corner, I put Start Screensaver, and in the bottom right corner, I put Disable Screensaver. There's also a lot of different options, Mission Control, Application Windows, Desktop, Notification Center, Launchpad, Put Display to Sleep, Lock Screen, whatever you want to do. And then once you select whatever you want, then you can click on OK, and it'll be there. Last but not least, I want to show you guys how to create this cute little collage as your background for your desktop. And what you have to do is you go to Safari, and then you can go and search for a bunch of cute little images on Pinterest or wherever you want to look. And I typically use Pinterest. Once you find all the images that you want, you can create a folder and put them all in there. And then you can go to canva.com and then you can click on create a design and then go to custom dimensions. And then you can search up online what the dimensions are for the background of your specific computer. But for me, mine are 1280 by 800, I believe. And then you click on create design once you've entered your dimensions. And then you can start designing your background. So you can upload those images that you selected before. So these are the images that I saved so that I could... These are the images that I uploaded and then you can just start clicking and dragging your images over and then just keep playing around with it until you like how it looks this is the one that i designed and just a disclaimer i don't own any of these images using this background i just found them on pinterest and then i just combined them into a collage and this took me like maybe five minutes max and it was pretty easy anyways that is it for today's video so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe if you haven't already and once you subscribe a little bell will appear and you can click that if you want to get notified every single time i upload and i'll see you guys next time bye